So we have a customer that has an F-150 stuck down in one of these quick sand holes off of 206. And this hole gets a bunch of people. You slip in there, it sucks you in and concretes you in. He had several trucks pulling on him at the same time and they still couldn't get him. And now it's got an electrical shortage. It will not come out of park and it's dead in the water. And of course, the shift linkage is under the sand, under the water. We are setting up the scotch block anchors off the rear. We're setting up a red ridge land anchor off the front. Step one, we're just going to get it sunk down into the ground, ready to go. And now we are going to set a, scot or a snatch block on it and then run it underneath the Jeep to the back. Alrighty, so we are running from the Jeep to the land anchor to a snatch block underneath the Jeep, all the way underneath it, back behind it, and then we're going to marry the two cables together right here so it's all connected, the front winch and the back winch. And then we are running from the Jeep down here to a snatch block, back to the receiver to another snatch block, back to the truck to another snatch block, and then back to the front winch.
now I'm going to back off on the winch a little bit, crawl underneath here, pop the shift linkage off, pop it in a neutral so we can roll it the rest of the way out. How hard is it to get the land anchor out? Hmm, not that hard. tow it up front so the tow truck can pick it up. Don't forget to check our merch. We got hats, shirts, and hoodies.